Good morning, Sam the Old Man here. And are you ready to rumble? The rumble has started. But first, let's claim this reward. I just missed out on getting in the below a thousand again. Well, this time I missed out by a little bit further. Um, I was a couple hours away um, from when that ended and I was up below the thousand mark. And it's amazing how many points um, change in the last uh, couple hours of this event. All right, delete that. Uh, so the rumble's on. Let me just check how long I've got um, to fight the match because it's probably really easy matches. So I'll probably do it at the end. Yeah, I'll do it at the end of this episode. And uh, good indication of how active our guild is going to be. We have 34 people fighting. Um, plus me will be 35 and maybe a couple more in the end. It's a little unfortunate. I thought we could get to that 40 mark, but we're certainly doing better than last time. Um, and I was going to do a challenge episode today, shop, but I just missed out. And it's not that I calculated it wrong. It's that completely unexpectedly, I just got a couple hands of absolute the worst, um, Com like no combo cards, all characters are all um, other cards. And uh, I lost a couple, and that meant I didn't quite get enough coins. So we'll do that tomorrow. But we'll go to the research here. And today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build a rumble deck or a deck for anything. Um, and the first thing I do is. I'm, look, I'm trying to come up with or figure out which cards are going to make good combos. And, um, like, I do this pretty well in advance of, um, of, of wanting to build the deck because... Or you can go to a website and find out which cards make these combos. But let's filter for arts. So I've got two arts cards. Virtue Man and Dress Rehearsal. And if we put Virtue Man in here, go to the deck, here's all the cards that Virtue Man um, can combo with. And that's actually not bad. That's a decent number of, of cards that he can combo with. And I've only got a couple more um, researches to do um, before I can put him, like, before I researched everything that he can combo with. If we go to the inventory, he can also combo with Fry, and I'm about to put Fry in my deck too. Um, so there's a good one. Uh, to Like, that's how I look and see when I'm going to build the deck. So, for example, let's take that out, not into the deck. Um, take it out, inventory. There we are. Uh, undo that filter. Let's say we want to be able to build a good deck for um, fighting. Click apply. Okay, there's a few fighting cards that I've got in my inventory. Um, well, Kung Fu Actron is most likely going to get into the deck, definitely. And he's got one, two, three, four, five, what's it? One, two, three, four, five, six characters plus fry, no fry. All right, six. And then it's okay, so we take him out of the deck and go, well, what about Samurai Toshi? Go to deck, one, two, three, four, five, six, also six. And Fry, no. And basically that's what I'm doing is I'm just looking for cards that combo with the most characters that I have. And um, if we're not even going to do any filter um, and just want to go into the inventory and go, well, what about Alamo Beer? Okay, here's the characters. One, two, three, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven different characters. Now, I'm not going to have eleven different characters in my deck. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take note of which characters that card can combo with. Then I'm going to go back to the inventory, take out Alamo Beer, and 
go, okay, now what about putting in, um, let's say the golden turret as well. What can that combo with? All right, so I'm gonna look at those characters. Um, now you might not have legendary, so you might be going through the same process, but with your epic characters, that's fine. Everyone is gonna be doing this with their own set of cards that they have. So I'm gonna look at those characters that I have. There they are, that combo with the golden turd. And I'm gonna pick the same ones that combo with the Alamo beer. And that way I'm gonna end up with the most possible combo combinations in my deck. And then we'll go back to inventory, take the golden turd out. And then let's say we want to also have um, Rupert, because Rupert's cool. Um, and look at the same cards again and go, okay, which ones can I, are the same? And we're just gonna try and put the cards that have the most combos together. Now I can't do this and actually make a deck live because I need to write all this stuff down in the information. I'm, I'm not, don't have the memory to remember every single combo with every single card. Um, but that's how I'm going to pick which cards I'm going to have in my deck, which character cards and which, I don't know what they're called, um, combo cards uh, I'm going to use. And of course I'm going to take into consideration, well, maybe I've got the book of spells and maybe it doesn't combo with so many things, but because it's so much more powerful than the rest, I'll make an exception and put it in the deck. Because also, because it's so much more powerful, its health and, and its attributes just on its own are decent. So it doesn't actually need to be comboed to um, be effective. And therefore, I can make an exception for that card, even though it might not be comboing with all the other combo cards that I've built for that deck. And then the last thing to look at, okay, so here's my deck now. And we're just gonna look at how many character cards I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine character cards. And the power cards, I have one, two, three, I have three power cards and then the um, the comboing cards I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, Rupert's not supposed to be in there, ten, ten comboing cards. So I would make sure that you have even more combo cards and character cards. Um, I would even go with maybe four, maybe even five power cards if you have really good power cards that are worth having. But at least three. Hold on. I have more than three. I have four because I have another hatchet boom power in there. Maybe the double isn't showing. I think the double isn't showing or did I totally screw up my deck just then? All right, let's get Rupert out of there. Um, inventory. And maybe we need to go out of that and actually into the deck building just to make sure that I didn't screw that up. All right, deck, um, so I'm running off of deck three right there. So let's just, let's, on um, the benders, it didn't take into account the, the doubles. So let's recount my character cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine character cards in there. And my power cards, I have this one. Two, three. No, I have three, three power cards. I just can't count. That's that's all right. And um, the count was correct. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. The count was correct. So 10 comboing cards. Um, I would, for my deck, I would be looking at getting, taking Roger out if I had another power card to put in or even another, um, like maybe putting Virtue Man into this deck. Um, but I want to try and keep the the number of character cards and the number of the comboing cards like pretty close either equal or maybe one most at the most two comboing cards more than the number of character cards and then fill the difference with com with the power cards so that's that's how i'm building my deck because i've built great decks before they looked great, and then when I went to use them, uh, I found that there was either too many characters. Um, let's go and do the rumble now. Yeah, either too many characters, and the characters like didn't get the combo cards in my deck enough to actually be effective. I just getting, kept getting all character cards in my hand. Let's fight. Fight the rumble. Or... I end up having too many combo cards and I couldn't make combos with them, um, which was fine because some of them on their own are powerful enough, but some of them um, are not. And it just didn't leave me with all that many options. All right. So the other thing here, uh, arts cards are now have a battleground effect where you get 50% uh, of the value for gas and 20% of the attack value for health every turn. So that's not bad for the rumble actually in terms of um, making sure your cards self heal and you know that gas damage can add up. Continue. In fact I think the health um, amount is the same as what we get for um, the fighting. Here we are, let me check. Fighting, yeah, it's also 20% health. So not bad. All right, now the other thing, if you're not in uh, my guild, or if you're not in one of the top tier guilds, but you want to be, what I recommend you go and do uh, for this rumble. I mean, it's probably too late now because for my guild is full Most of the top tier guilds, they're gonna be full going into the rumble But what you want to do now is come out the other end of this rumble and then in the few days after Get yourself a position in one of the guilds that you want to be in like a fully active top guild How do you do that? Well, the first step is even if you're not in a good guild this time and you're not going to win you know top 50 points or whatever or top 100 or even top 500 that doesn't matter i mean all you need to do is be active and fight in every rumble and get yourself the highest rumble score possible because um Basically, you're trying to form that habit of fighting and playing this game frequently, at least daily, ideally two or three times a day. And if you get that habit, then when you're in the top guild, you're going to be playing that frequently as well. 
and that's what they want to see. So what you want to do is, if you do that, if you go in and you fight every rumble and get the highest score you can get, your guild's not going to do that well, but you are. You're going to do well. And that means you can take a screenshot of your rumble score and um, use that in, in showing, hey, look, I, I scored this many points. Um, maybe I could get into your guild. And for guilds that are f basically full, so for our guild, we are mostly full. Um, again, there's probably going to be somewhere between, it looks, based on at least this first match, maybe eight people who haven't been active and haven't, um, and are going to be replaced. It's hard to say and this early, but that's what it's looking like. Um, so we'll be after eight people. And if, let's say, um, 20 people want to join, uh, then we're going to pick the people who have the best rumble scores and are the most active. I mean, that's, that's how it's going to work. Um, Pretty much. I mean, there's always exceptions to the rule, but um, in general, that's pretty much how it's going to work. So wherever you are, whichever, even if you're in, in one of the bottom guilds, make sure you fight every match. And who knows, maybe you alone can push your guild's um, rumble score um, up into another tier and you'll get a little bit more bonus because every little bit counts. You might not get the Epic card or whatever the top rewards are. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, you'll definitely set yourself up to get in a top guild to fight going forward. So let's have a look. Oh, we're nearly there. We'll finish this off quickly. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my deck once the armed finishes just because I don't have many arts. You saw I filtered my arts cards. I have two. Well, I've got Virtue Man quadded three times, so maybe I'll put lots of Virtue Man in my deck. But it's only an epic card, so I'm really not sure. Um... Maybe what I'll do when I finish these rumble fights is maybe I will go and quickly build a Virtue Man deck, just a quick one. Um, and I can optimize it later and just fight, um, not in, in, well, maybe in the arena, but I'm thinking more in the adventure mode, uh, where I normally win every match without a problem at 25-2. Two more fights in the rumble. Perfect score, I think. I don't think I lost points. Um, yeah, I'll fight it in the adventure mode and just see how it goes. And if I'm losing at 25-2, well, then I'd probably have a good indication that uh, I should s stick with all legendary cards rather than introduce the um, lower level but battleground effect cards into my deck. It's always a tough call. Like, is a tier one legendary that's not got a battleground effect, is that going to be better than uh, maybe a, a single combined uh, arts card or armed card? Uh, you know, it's it really has to go based on everything that you've put in your deck. How many combos it goes with? Is it a, like gas class here? Is it a power card? And oops, oh, oh no, fortunately I got saved by that heal four on my Bobby. I didn't even realize that he lost health. Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen again. Batter up Bobby, that can be my feature unless I come up with something better in the next round. <clears throat> Uh, 
and here we go. Oh no, that was it. Glad I got a feature card in just, just before the end. Batter up, Bobby. All right. So, how do you show me what your guild score is? Down the bottom right, you've got the one, two, three. Click on that, and you got rankings. That's for um, your guild, and it doesn't really make any, like it doesn't mean anything yet. And then we go to guild, and here's your personal score. Now, it hasn't updated yet, but you can see we've got a lot of people who've done perfect scores. Oh no, there I am, I guess it has updated. We have 17 people who've scored perfect right off the bat. But you can scroll through, and you can see, for example, number 38 there, Celtic Battle Mage has scored only 100 points. And Peter Fatman at, has scored 296. Now hopefully that's not because that was as good as they could get off of that first match. Hopefully that's because they're still in the process of fighting right now, which I suspect is the case. Um, but uh, So we've still got 10 people who haven't fought yet. So there could be some people that are at risk of getting the chopping block there. But I mean, I guess it's far too early to tell, and it is still the first rumble, and it did come out of nowhere. Um, I didn't even realize the rumble was on. So if you were watching this and you didn't know the rumble was on, hurry up and do your matches. Uh, by the time this is up on the net, there's probably only an hour of rumble left, or less. But you've probably seen the rumble is on from the start and gone and quickly done it, so you probably already know that now. Oh, yep, get my research in. I left that blank so that um, we could do um, do what I did for this video. I need Philip J. Fry. Here we are. And he's still got... Oh, no, he's fully, fully uh, researched now. All right, so we'll just go back and get um, Mythic combos in. Uh, there's still quite a few there. Louise and Blown's Ball. Blown's Ball's a good one. Research. And then I'm trying to decide, once those are done, whether I'm going to start doing Virtue Man researches and whether I'm going to put Virtue Man in my deck. It's a tough call. Very tough call. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I should put Virtue Man in? Oh yeah, let's go build that deck. So, in the deck got deck three we didn't know you can have multiple decks so next to deck three you click that and you just tick which deck you want so let's switch to deck one and I wish there was a button to completely clear your deck but there's not so I'm going to filter for the arts cards here we are um, oh, I still have most of my virtue men are one star combo but I have them I just have to get the giggity watts to dual combo them but I've got one those two make two and those two make three so I can potentially have three quartered virtue men in my deck so just for placement sake if I did one two three virtue men and we're gonna instead of virtue men we're going to get rid of okay we're going to get rid of this equestronaut because that's a single we're going to get rid of flirty tutor freeze it down so I have, as you can probably see a lot of those cards I built this deck before, quite a while ago now we're going to filter for arms apply it <clears throat> and we're also going to filter for legendary I don't think any of my armed legendary cards are in this deck yet so there's my quad one of them one of them those whoops that was not the hatchet boom power that I wanted to put in the deck it is these two and then we'll put in the 
long stick with sharp rock and anarchist all right now we've got tons of cards get rid of the epic um steve is only a single character i haven't uh quoted him yet could be good later on but as a single character when i can have stronger characters in my deck um, i'm not ready to have him in my deck yet um so we probably don't want to get rid of any character cards um, okay, clear the filter. Actually, not filter for legendary. Okay, I've got benders, more benders. Um, no, I think I have enough benders in my deck already. Let's check if I got. Okay, I have. Yep, that's the right Bobby. And two benders, yep. So that's three. Uh, we're going to take that book of spells out three characters four characters i'm going to go over here take out the lower hanks so that makes five characters uh, linda's six characters peter is seven rogers eight tina's nine so that's the right number and how many other cards um, unfortunately, there's no card counter, so you can't actually see how many cards you have, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. Hurry up and do your saving thing. There we go. 14 so we need to take out some of these cards so we're going to take out um that one there that makes it 13 we're going to take out freezer dumb louise that makes it uh, 12 um, and then i think i saw we're going to take out that one there makes it 11 oh nope all right, so that, that's the number of cards that we need. So the question is, do we want Freezer Dome Louise or Pontucket Ale? And you know what? I think we want Freezer Dome Louise rather than the Ale. Um, that Ale is awesome when it's uh, drunk as it has a battleground effect. But when it doesn't, it's not as awesome. All right, there's deck one. So let's go out, saved. And we'll go do our fights with that deck. Adventure. Twenty-five dash two battle. Now those um, virtue mans can be powered up stronger, but this is going to give me an indication as to how good they are. And nice, we've got three in there, so that I would expect to get at least one straight off the bat. And a combo with Bender. Modest painting, can it combo with Roger? It probably, no, it cannot combo with Roger at all. Another reason I should take Roger out of my deck eventually. Um, all right, now let's throw another Virtue Man down. Can it combo with Hank? It can, but I haven't researched it yet. So instead let's throw another virtue man down and there we go and um, it can't combo with Roger so instead uh, let's throw the long stick down it's got the punch and that modest painting bender and again it can't combo with Linda um, it's pretty good pretty happy with that there we go. So not bad. Especially since Bender is a very strong card in my deck. I could put three, two um, quad benders and one jewel bender in my deck. And then combine that with the three virtue paintings and I could get lots of modest benders. So I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Again, I've, I've got a couple weeks to 
decide and do the research um, pretty much because um, was it armed is still good for another couple of weeks. Oh, there we go. Let's make baseball Peter. Um, yes. So now I'm just going to fight these battles and so far nothing's different because I haven't got virtue man this, this round yet, but that's okay. I've still got a winning deck. So with the rest of it, th this, this is fine. I won. So this deck is, is doing all right. I'm tempted. I might have to do some more virtue man, um, work and then as I was talking about at the very start of this video go through and just double check all my combos to figure out which actual combo cards I want to have in my deck and characters and make sure I get it all optimized like maybe I want to put extra benders in um, and maybe I want to take Roger out but Anyway, that's about all I have to talk about. Um, good luck in your rumble, everyone. Um, hopefully, if you're in a different guild, hopefully we face you. And then you can be featured in my video as I battle against you, maybe, in the rumble. Open, look great, nice. All right, that's going to be the video. Um, catch you later.